The next word is one of the scariest words in behavior analysis. It's often not something we want to talk about. Mentalism. Mentalism is evil. <laughs> we shall never speak of that evil here. Yeah. Ever. For fear of it manifesting if we do. In the famous words of Dick Malott, fuck mentalism! Really? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so mentalism uh, is an approach to explaining behavior that assumes that a mental or inner state uh, dimension or whatever exists uh, that then that's different from the behavioral or the physical uh, world and that that phenomenon or dimension then explains some or all of behavior. So an example of mentalism would be, uh, I did that because I wanted to. So let me pick up. So I pick up my phone. You say, "Why did you pick up your phone, Ryan?" You say, "I did it because I wanted to." You say, "Why?" The wanted to part is the mentalism, right? It's the internal causing something external. My behavior, my action. It's a philosophical tenet that is not subscribed to in behavior analysis, ever. If I hear you being mentalistic, I will come over and pinch your ears. I promise. I'll just rip them right off your darn head. Had enough of the mentalism stuff. It doesn't do us any good. At all. And I'm getting a little overexcited about this issue. And I'm well aware of that. But seriously, this is just a serious topic. It is. Because this is one of those things in the field that can cause huge problems for the understanding and the study of behavior. So, we don't want to be mentalistic. And Brad's trying to tell me to stop talking because I've gone over my one minute limit. Bye-bye.